Hello grade 12 students and welcome to a new technical English 3 lesson. Our lesson today is unit 9 lesson 3 part 2, sites part 2, course book page 73, workbook page 46. Please bring your books and let's start our lesson. Let's start with the objectives of today's lesson. After studying this lesson you will be able to Learn vocabulary for technical and architectural drawing. Find buildings on a map after listening to their descriptions. Match sketches with photos of buildings. Our starter today is to complete the sentences with a word formed from the word in capitals at the end. So you have to look at each sentence and you have to look at the word next to it and try to form the word from this word. You have five minutes to do the activity. When you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's check your answers. Number one sentence, the first sentence. Can you see the space building on the plan circle? So, we will form the word from the, the word circle. Circular. Good. The space of the bike is a very important feature. Stable. The stability. Great. Number three. The space on this bike is better than on others. Suspend. Great. Suspension. Sentence number four. The building has a space shape. Cone. Conical. Great. The space design is quite unusual for this product. Rectangle. Great. Rectangular. The last sentence. You need to look at the space to see what the outside of the building will look like. Elevate. Elevation. Good job, my dear students. Now let's learn some new vocabulary which will help you to understand today's lesson. The first word is the word hatchet. And hatchet means opening. The second word is the word tabid. Tabid means Becoming gradually narrower at one end. Elevation. The front or side of a building as shown on a drawing. Perpendicular. And at an angle of 90 degrees to a horizontal line or surface. Arch. A structure consisting of a curved top on two supports that holds the weight of something above it. Now please open your course book, page 73, exercise 5. In exercise 5, you have to complete the text using the words or phrases in the box. Use the illustrations to help you. We have here some words in the box and we want to complete the sentences. So please take your time to complete the sentences and when you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Welcome back my dear students. Now let's check your answers. And let's read together. If you look at the photo and sketches of the administrative building, you can see an interesting architectural feature on the space end of the building. Great. Tabard. The hatchet area on the plan and the elevation represents a square arch, good, which consists of a simple horizontal beam which is perpendicular to a vertical column. Turning now to the photo and sketches of the student hustle, the most interesting feature is the cylinder cylindrical staircase. This is shown as a space. 
hatchet. Circular shape on the plan and a rectangular shape on the elevation here. Here, the space line, the solid line, shows the staircase structure, and the space line, broken line, indicates the roof of the building behind the staircase. Now let's move to exercise 7. Practice your speed reading. Look for the information you need on the speed search pages 116, 117. Try to be first to answer these questions. So you have to go back to uh, page 116, 117 to find the answers to these questions. How heavy is the heaviest building that has been moved from one place to another? Question number two. Where is the smallest purpose-built cinema in operation? 3. Where is the deepest underwater mailbox in the world? Why is it there? The last question. How high is the highest concrete dam in the world? So take your time, read, find the answers in, on page 116 and 117. And when you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Now let's check your answers. The first question, how heavy is the heaviest building that has been moved from one place to another? If you read this text, you can find the answer in it. And the right answer is 15,140.4 metric tons. Great. Number two, where is the smallest purpose-built cinema in operation? Take your time to read this text and you can find the answer in it. The right answer is the cinema by Bocelli at the Villa Borgers, Rome. Number three, where is the deepest underwater mailbox in the world? Why is it there? If you read the text, the world's deepest underwater bus office, bus box, sorry, is located 10 meters beneath the waters of Susami Bay, Japan. It is used by passing divers to send mail up to addresses on, on land. The post box is emptied daily by the Susami post office. So the right answer is beneath the waters of Susami Bay, Japan. And it is, why is it there for passing divers to post letters? The last question, how high is the highest concrete dam in the world? How high is it? Is it? It is 285 meters or 935 feet. Now, please open your workbox page 46. You have to read the four extracts from emails with descriptions of buildings. Match them with four of the buildings A to H below. Complete the descriptions using the words in the box. So take your time to do the activity. And when you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's check your answer. Number one, it's picture. Number one, it's picture. Perpendicular, zigzag, and it's picture F. We're talking about picture F. Number two, we have some words here, vertical, rectangular, diagram. The academic block is a building with a, a tapering pointed end, one elevation of stone and one elevation of what? Of rectangular glass panels. On the nearest corner, there is a space, post up, vertical, post up to the corner of the roof, which has a space pattern long along the side. 
diagram and it is picture D this picture good number three wings stories table and its picture B the last one we have here some words curved regular incline the research center is adjacent to a park with tall trees the building is of space shape irregular shape with an irregular floor plan the floor areas reduce in size as you go up the three stories two of the metal roofs curve down to become inclined signed elevations the first floor lobby with space smoked glass windows curved and we're talking about which picture here picture g great this is the end of our lesson today i hope you enjoyed today's lesson till we meet again in a new lesson goodbye and good luck